Hi Year 4 and welcome to Reading for Pleasure today. Yesterday we started finding out about the Punic Wars and the Romans' continuous battle with Carthage. So we're going to find out a little bit more about the First and the Second Punic War today. And I'm going to start with the First Punic War, which was 264 BC to 241 BC. So it went on for quite a long time. And the article that I'm going to read first is called Copycat Claim Leaves Romans Unruffled. And it's 256 BC. Rome has made a shock breakthrough in the First Punic War with a series of stunning naval victories. After eight years of deadlock, where we were better at fighting on land, but the Carth Carthaginians ruled the sea, military bosses in Rome hit on the bright idea of building some ships. We didn't have a navy, one sailor told us. In fact, we didn't even know how to build a warship. Luckily, the Carthaginians stranded one of theirs on a beach. So we found out how it was made, then built 100 identical copies in 60 days and added a new feature of our own. It's called a corvus and it's a big spiked gangway which you drop onto the enemy ship. Then your soldiers can pour aboard and thrash the crew. Works a treat. Our navy has remained completely unruffled by sour puss, Carth Carthaginian taunts of copycat, copycat. And the stage is now set for a knockout blow to Carthage. So that was where the Romans copied um, Carthage's boats, built their own in 60 days and then added their own little bit, which is a bit like a, a drawbridge that goes down onto the boat so that they could then put all of the soldiers onto the other boat and, and gain control of the other boat and then win. Right, OK, next bit I'm going to read here is Round 1 to Rome as Carts Lick Wounds. 241 BC. So this is at the end of the First Punic War. The curtains come down on the First Punic War and it splints and bandages all round. Our expected massacre of Carthage turned into a series of thousands feared dead defeats in which our brand new navy was wiped out. Reeling. But the carts took a battering too. We built a new navy, which soon sank theirs, and Roman troops have captured Sicily. Analysts predict a return bout when both sides have stopped reeling. So what they're saying is, is that this war will continue, and that was the Second Punic War. So the Second Punic War was 218 to 201 BC. And we're going to read these couple of articles here. They're about um, a, car, a man from Carthage who was called Hannibal and he caused a lot of problems to the Romans. So I'm going to read these really quite interesting. So Elephant Man in Mountain Breakout, 218 BC. So this is the start of the Second Punic War. Carthage is on the warpath and tough guy Hannibal is at the helm. Since their defeat in the First Punic War, the Carts have taken over most of gold and silver rich Spain. Now, following a rumpus with Rome over their occupation as even more of it, they're all set for a full scale ding dong battle. Hannibal is reported to have sworn an oath of vengeance on the Romans. If he keeps going at this rate, we're all mincemeat. So far, he's gathered together an army of hardened mercenaries from Spain and Africa, obtained three dozen war elephants. Each one is equipped with four huge stomping feet and two razor sharp tusks, taken the whole lot of them and crossed over the mighty Alps. Inhospitable, craggy, snowbound, ferocious, and that's just the savage tribes that are witless enough to live there, never mind the terrain itself. Now he's in the Po Valley in northern Italy, mere days away from Rome, and round two of the Punic Wars is about to commence. Please fasten your seatbelts, 
spit out that chewing gum and hold on tight. So I'm going to read this bit now, this article here. Kunk does a bunk, 217 BC. Rome's military dictator, Quintus Fabius Maximus, known as Cunctator the Delayer, has again refused to let our boys fight the Carthaginians. Quintus told the record, Hannibal is a military genius and he'd love to take us on, but he's decided that Rome's too well defended to attack directly, so he's trying to cut us off from the rest of the country. My policy is to let him flounder around Italy. History will prove me right. You'll see. Unpleasant, unedifying, un cane. 216 BC. Hot-headed Romans have dismissed Cunctator Quint from his dictator job and ordered our legions to attack Hannibal. 86,000 soldiers, the largest army ever assembled in Roman history, met the Carthaginians at Cannae in the south of Italy. The result? The worst defeat ever in the history of our Roman civilization. That Hannibal's a clever so-and-so, says Baracus Braulus, the record's military correspondent. He's familiar with our tactics and he knew we'd launch an all-out attack at his weakest point, the middle of his ranks of soldiers. So he put his best cavalry on his left and right wings. And when we did attack him, in the middle, he just encircled us. Our troops were so tightly packed in, they didn't even have space to swing their swords. We've had 50,000 men killed and 10,000 taken prisoners. It's all a little upsetting. That will do for today. I will finish off the last bits of the Second Punic War tomorrow.